I'll, I'm going to start by saying we, we had won the game before it ever started. Um, the, the, the respect I have for Coach Crean for doing something that doesn't happen in college basketball anymore, um, which is high majors going on the road to mid-majors. I have the utmost respect. Those sort of moves make college basketball what it is um, because on any given night, you know, miracles can, can, can happen. Um, and, and I'm not saying our team isn't good enough to compete with anybody in the country. They clearly are. But, you know, our, our guys had a toughness and resilience about them tonight that, that, that is uncommon um, to be able to do what we do. We, we've won a lot of games over the last four years, but, but rarely have we just been able to dig in uh, in, in a second half and just grind out defensive stop after defensive stop, particularly a team like this. Um, and then after the game, my father-in-law came up to me and, and, and told me, Coach Crean, after and I, I went down, I shook his hand after the game. Our, our guys charged the court. Um, you know, I, I, it, it's hard to, uh, to, I mean, I, I like our guys knowing how to win the right way and, and respect your opponent, but I, I mean, what we just did was, was epic. Um, but, but Coach Crean waited for them. And that is unbelievable. That I have so much respect for him and his program, and appreciate the opportunity to showcase uh, IU and, and Fort Wayne basketball here in the Coliseum. And when I sat in that timeout in between the regulation and and overtime, and I don't know how much you guys watch college basketball, but rarely does the team that you know gave up the lead have the juice to come back out. Plus, we had. You know, maybe some energy issues with Conchar having played 40 straight minutes, playing one through five for us, a lot of one with uh, with Mo out. And uh, I looked at our guys and, and, and I said, I said, hey, head up, let's get in the green zone, as Coach Wirtz, our, our mental coach, always talks about. And I said, right now, all you did is add another chapter to what's going to be an epic story and college basketball in the city of Fort Wayne and the state of Indiana. And it was unbelievable. Our guys just popped up a little bit. And I looked at Case and I said, you know, you're going to make a shot down the stretch here. It's going to win this game. I need you sitting in this dance. And sure enough, he made some big shots down the stretch. So uh, maybe I'm a little bit of a prophet uh, from that regard. But it was, it was special watching these guys sit in timeouts. And you could just see their heart pouring out of their eyes ready to attack the game and, and when you look at individual efforts it's hard to go through and, and, and identify you know one two three individuals because it's such a team effort but you know the ones that stick out in my mind I mean to be able to defend James Blackman to 13.6 of 14 in his homecoming when he's playing like an all-American what Bryson Scott was able to do today was, was, was unbelievable. Um, you know, there's probably a little story behind that, the fact that they've been best friends since like the third grade um, and probably knows his game and has a little edge to him playing against him. Um, but, you know, honestly, and he and I had talked about it, hadn't been playing great defense yet. It was in his tank. And we talked about what he could do elite to help this team win, not just tonight, but the rest of the year. And, and he bought in and he, he did it tonight. Um, John Conchar playing 45 minutes every single position on the floor other than the five. Um, I mean, what a tough son of a gun, double-double. And then Brent Calhoun, what a great story he is. I mean, he was a dead man walking two years ago, uh, and, and we laugh about that now, and he was going to transfer, and then we just we had heart-to-heart -heart and said, hey, you're going to let's, – let's, let's buy in, all in, and let's have consistency – and do the right thing all the time, and let's see how it ha what happens in a month. Well, next thing you know, he drops 10 pounds. Then he drops another 10 pounds. Next thing you know, he's down 65 pounds. Drops another 10 pounds a summer, and he, he was as good as I've ever seen at a rim protector. And I, I you know, I probably get fined or something, but I thought a couple of those were clean at the rim. But uh, I mean, he was absolutely phenomenal tonight protecting the rim. But it was a team effort. There were so many guys that stepped up.
Ronnie, if you ever heard me talk in any, you know, lengthy session, I, I've, I've, I've given uh, credit to Coach Knoll, um, who ironically was uh, had had uh, was enjoying one of the bench experiences at the very end of our bench with two other uh, guys that auctioned it off at the casino night, um, and Coach Knoll and Dane Fife and Tony Jasic, um, you know, it's it's a program where there's pieces of our program that go back generations. You know, we still say a creed to our practice and to our game that Dane Fife created, um, you know, probably on some yellow pad one day, and we say it before every practice and every game, and there's little things like that that, that just give history to our program. And, you know, that's what was special. We had alums in our in our locker room after the game, you know, had our all-time winningest player, Joe Reed, in there, uh, Isaiah McRae, Mike Kibalowski, the former winningest player. I mean, it's great seeing guys come back, and, you know, it's – it won a lot of games in recent years, and it's it's special. And everybody's had a uh, a, a, a part of the growth. And uh, I, I just I hope Fort Wayne will jump on board. Um, I I envision. I talk about it all the time. I want to be Fort Wayne's team. I want to grow our program and our following one person at a time. And I I, I don't see why we can't fill the lower bowl here every single night with the level of basketball we play. And if, if you, if there's ever a question about why IPFW is division one, like, see right there. I thought, I, I thought it was God knocking, telling me, Hey, you're right, coach. You need, but it, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, on Twitter, Fort Wayne, and IPFW were just the two most trending words. And what a college basketball program, an athletic program can do for a university in terms of their marketing and their growth. Um, you know, and I'm sure we'll probably be on Sports Center tonight. John Conchar with the block, followed down by the alley oop. I mean, it's got to make, maybe we may have a couple of them. And, you know, there's going to be, you know, Students are going to apply to IPFW because they found out about it because they thought it was cool on SportsCenter. Um, I was at College of Charleston when we went through a run, and the 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 the, uh, the enrollment doubled during that time of like a Sweet 16 run and so forth. And it's just phenomenal what it can do. So, you know, I, I'm I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited that our group can contribute to a special university, a university gave me an opportunity that I think is is going to explode. I think it's going to have, and in a good way, I think that, that there are phenomenal things ahead for IPFW and for the city of Fort Wayne, and, and I love being a part of it. And if you don't believe me, go check my backyard and see the logoed basketball court that has Fort Wayne logoed right there in the middle of the lane. I'll be honest, he, he's really, really coachable. Um, you know, now now translating that to the floor, like it's all like no one's no one's perfect as you do that. And fitting into what we do, like it's hard for all newcomers. And Bryson has been thrown into the fire playing 30 minutes a game. And 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 so, you know, there's gonna be more, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see the blending of it. And you know. At the end of the day, he, he every day he's taken a step forward. And, and and I think what he locked in on and what he bought into is two things that he can do elite for us. And one is he can be an elite, I mean an elite defender, as he showed tonight on an All-American. Um, and then the other thing that he can do elite is that he can get to the paint on anybody in the country. Now you just got to make the right decision all the time when you get in there. And, like, he, he can be that guy, like, I mean, to even another level uh, than Max because of his strength of getting the paint and spraying it out and getting the ball happy. And, you know, points come, you know. All that stuff comes. But those two things, if he can do that at the level he did tonight and continue to grow, like, he, he, he's going to be a big part of what we do and, and the success we have. And he was huge tonight.